Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 62. So today we're continuing our training on command for teams, and we're going to take a look at opportunities and some of the nuances and differences inside of opportunities for team members and rainmakers. So the first thing we want to do is click on our toggle in the top right hand corner. Let's make sure that we are in our team account. And then we're going to go into opportunities. So sixth icon down our handshake icon here. I know that I'm in my team tab because it literally tells me inside of opportunities, hey, this is your team pipeline. So if you have a team account, whether you're a team member or Rainmaker, inside of opportunities, instead of just seeing two tabs, you're actually going to see four tabs. And the reason being is that you've got two separate pipelines. So a single agent without a team is just going to see their individual pipeline and then all opportunities. As a team member or Rainmaker, you get a separate pipeline for your team and then you have this tab called All Discussions. So the first thing to be aware of with regards to opportunities and teams is that a team opportunity can only be connected to team contacts. So when I go to create an opportunity and we go to select the client, the list of clients that are available, let's see if Bart Simpson, right? So we had Bart, we know he's a fictional character. He was available in our database originally and yet I can't find him when I go to create this opportunity. And I have this question come up often, both in my market center and just in general with agents in KW. Hey, command's not working. I'm going to build an opportunity. I already added the contact and now I can't find them. My first question typically is, are you on a team? Because again, personal contacts can be used to create personal opportunities. Team contacts can be used to create team opportunities and there is no crossover. So if you are on a team, Rainmaker or team member, and you're going to utilize the team pipeline, which I highly recommend, you just need to make sure that those contacts associated with the opportunities you're building are in the team account. So if we go back to our team contacts, and I know these are team contacts, I can see it says team contacts. I only have two contacts here. So it looks like Bart isn't inside of my actual team contact. So let's go to our personal account. And I touched on this yesterday when we talked about contacts, but I'm going to show you how to move Bart from the personal account to the team account. So what I can do is I've opened Bart's contact record. I can click the three dots here and I can choose to change account and move to the team. So that's one option by actually opening up the contact record. I can actually do that from the contact list as well. I can click Bart's name, I can choose actions, and then I can choose to change the account. Essentially, I'm gonna move that to the team account and it does tell you, hey, there's some nuance here. First of all, the contact, if they're on any personal smart plans, we're gonna get the smart plans tomorrow, but they'll be removed from personal smart plans because only personal contacts can be on personal smart plans. Team contacts can only be on team smart plans. Um, also, we talked yesterday about the nuances with tags, lead sources, uh, custom fields. All of those would have to be re-added as well. But if I do need to get this opportunity up and running, I can move Bart over. We're going to do a refresh inside of the personal side. You can see Bart's gone from our personal contacts. Let's go ahead and switch the toggle over to the team side. And now we're in our team contacts and we can see Bart is now a team contact. So if we go back to opportunities, we go to create the opportunity and we go to find the client, we're gonna see that Bart is now available to select as a fictional character for this team opportunity. Also important just to kind of note, you've got your team up here the owner, right? You can see I am the owner since I am creating this contact. If someone is creating this contact on behalf of the Rainmaker, just have to make sure, right? If the Rainmaker is making it, or maybe it's director of sales, director of operations, someone in their support team, etc. cetera, uh, just make sure you're paying careful attention to the owner. And again, all the rest of the items on building an opportunity would also hold true. Now, with regards to viewing opportunities, if you are a standard permission level holder, and we talked about permission levels a couple of days ago, your pipeline is only going to show you your opportunities. However, if you are the Rainmaker, 
you're actually going to have the ability to select who you see. Now on this pro coach account, we only have one person on the team. That's me as pro coach CMC82. So I can only see my opportunities. However, if I had, um, you know, some buyer's agents and my director of sales and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I would see all of their names in this list. And I could then select to see all of my assignees, meaning everybody on the team, just mine, or I could see a specific person. So maybe I'm doing an accountability session. I meet with, I don't know, my head buyer's agent and I'm having kind of a walk through a 411 conversation and want to see their pipeline. I could actually go in as the Rainmaker and see just their individual pipeline. That would be again in this drop down at the top right. Now I've had a question that happens, well, hey, I'm leaving a team. What happens to my opportunities? Although the team pipeline may go away, right? So let's say you close out everything. You don't, you're not associated with any opportunities, but you're like, hey, I closed some deals while I was on that team and I still want access to all of that. You will still have access to that inside of all opportunities. So inside of here, you'll see all of your deals, regardless of whether those deals happened while you were on the team or whether they happened before or after you were on the team. So all opportunities, that's gonna show you everything you were associated with before, during, and after any time on a team. Um, all discussions really comes in when you're looking at, so I don't know if that, we didn't actually create that opportunity. Let's create an opportunity real quick and I'll show you discussions. So we'll create an opportunity for Bart. Let's say he's selling his house um, and we got the opportunity name. I think that's all we really have to put in. Commission rates are negotiable, not set by law. We're just gonna throw what in. Now we have this opportunity actually set up and you can see we've now got a discussion tab here at the top right. That's what that for and the discussion button, excuse me. That's what that fourth tab does. I can come in here and actually create a discussion where we could have conversations. Now this isn't gonna allow me to do this because I'm the only one on the team. So there's no one to discuss anything with. But if you wanted to create an opportunity discussion, you've even got an answers article here that can help you learn more about it. Essentially, if you had maybe a uh, contract close coordinator or a listing coordinator, or maybe even it's a discussion between the rainmaker and the buyer's agent, you could use that discussion to sort of go back and forth between one another inside of command, giving each other updates about what's happening inside of that opportunity. And from the actual all opportunities tab, then you would be able to see all of those discussions going back and forth, who was the last one to comment, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the all discussions tab. Again, only available inside of the team account and only available if you have people on your team. So I uh, wish I could have done a better discussion or better update on that. Alas, only one person on this team. That's really it for today, guys. Just kind of a breakthrough, uh, really important if you are a team member to have conversations with the rainmakers i think most rainmakers expect that team members build their opportunities in the team account that way they can see everything they can also provide leverage and support um, and the hard part is if for any reason you create an opportunity as a personal opportunity there's no easy way to move that opportunity over i showed you an easy way to move the contact over however opportunities cannot be moved so if you create it in the wrong account you would have to go in, delete or archive that opportunity and then recreate it again on the team side. So really important to pay special attention. What tab am I in? What account am I in? When I'm creating this opportunity, just double check one more time that you've got the team up here at the top and make sure that you're creating that opportunity on the right side. As always guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.